Hello, dear friends. These are the the fabric painting. Oh, you can small a little is better. Not small. Little, a little sound is no problem. And and this is a fabric painting. It's uh, already stabilized, stabilized, stabilized fabric. So it's already um, glued on with with natural glue or or starch glue, so that you can. You can paint it uh, very flatly, and it does not move very much. So I have a few pieces. I think I'm almost finishing it. And this one, <clears throat> so let's just do a critic of this. At the very first, I used this thin line, and there are <clears throat> thin sized. The black one is thin sized of different colors. How many colors I forget. The thin line can get a very crisp line, but if you stop, the line become larger. I do not like this, so I want to have some larger line. I use, suppose this is black color. I use black color all over it, and uh, it becomes larger. It is pretty good at the beginning, but uh, just I did not have enough idea, it did not have enough planning in it. So it comes out very random. And then I put some color on it. I think I put the color too early, before the ink got dried, so that the color um, expands and smears uh, a little bit. That I do not like that much. I would like to have a much crispier line. So this time I want to change. Oh, this is a larger one. You can put larger amount of color. You squeeze it. This is relatively soft, but not too soft. If you squeeze it very strong, the, 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 the ink can even drop out. So it's very juicy. The good thing is that this comes out, does not change the character of the fabric. The fabric is still very, very soft. It could be pretty good for silk painting because um, it keeps the, the, the softness. And something, anyway, uh, maybe because I do not know how to use it. The first thing, I put, cal put water too early. So it's better to wait until these colors relatively dried up, then you put color. And also color uh, with water and without water, the color does not look the same. And uh, with water, it becomes very brilliant and, uh, and darker. And without water, it shows much lighter color. So I think I will do it again. So this one is, um, because this is the first piece, I do not have yet any idea and do not know which one works better. And this one is actually relatively better. You see, I put color and uh, the color is relatively controlled, not smearing around too much. And there is some smearing and the color expanding, and it makes this painting even better. So I think I will, I will do this again and, uh, and see how we, we, how we can achieve. So you get a piece of uh, this is stabilized, stabilized fabric. One, two, three. I have three pieces left. And then I will not do this because I'm running. I, when I run out of it, I, I will do some other things, something like um, marbling, something like, um, oh yeah, and something like a painting with super glue. It's very strange. This one is not super glue. This one is paint, but it has a property of uh, of a super strong glue. It becomes glue at the end. I, I have not yet figured out how it works. And it's a 3D, <laughs> and there are three nibs goes with it. I like it. And uh, they become smarter and smarter, so they use just this less expensive material, and, um, and um, it does not waste too much. It used to be use metal nib, and when it is getting getting stuck, 
uh, it's very difficult to, to get it through. It always gets uh, stuck. Even plastic gets stuck. I hope they put some ta ta taglon or something to make it non-sticky. And uh, f for these, less expensive. If you are not doing good, you just uh, discard it. And uh, I, I feel it is better this way. Anyway, I am going to do this one. Some color works better, some color does not work as well. So, this one I am not using for the time being. Put it aside. Brown color. I like this gray color. The gray color is always so, so. Do it. Be a show means bubble. The more you do it, the more you become comfortable and uh, become more um, experienced. And then you know which way you put your color, how you paint it. And, uh, from my experience, it's important to make solid line. And this way is actually the best. One line at a time, one stroke at a time. Do not go up and down too much. So we have the tree roughly ideaed and now roughly coming out. Now we will <coughs> Uh, we will put some uh, emphasis on this tree or outline on this tree. So I intentionally make my hand a little bit shaky so that it does not have a very straight line because uh, Usually the tree, except the pine tree, it is not so, so straight. So have this shaky hand can make it look a little bit more interesting. And uh, as we go on with more branches, our hands will be faster. Does it make sense? I always go from one direction. Does it make sense? This direction. Not in a rush, just, just to have fun and uh, slowly do it and later it will be covered by the the the, the leaves so 
so don't worry if it is not perfect art it's not be, it's not uh, about being perfect art is not about being pretty and I think once I heard in the art world or in the arts and crafts world uh, a word of oh that's cute is uh, it's an insult once I, one time I talked to my friends because you do not want to hear say oh that's cute that's not really a word they want to hear want to hear that's good or bad it's more important to have some carriage so recognition cute cute is not and this ink takes some time to get dried and as soon as it get dried it becomes permanent so give yourself give the ink some time to dry and also when it is not dried your hand goes over there to do some other job some other drawing it smears so it makes it look not so pretty Oh, another time I say pretty again but anyway yes this pen is called tea juice so I need to have some tea juice this is the very beautiful tea from uh, Mariage Frère look at it how pretty it is get some paper to dry in and uh, in painting these kind of little lines it kinds of uh, eccentric oh, to make it <laughs> some right it makes the painting more lively it's really not so much i do not know in chinese painting these dots used very often do not have an idea sometimes it can be a rock a dot a branch a knot on the branch but it just to bring the painting more lively don't you agree otherwise actually this kind of of pen is very good for dot painting i suddenly realized so the next one i will do a dot painting i'm sorry this might take too much of your time but uh, but uh, at least it's good for falling asleep enjoy the process okay so one time and then another time to get it so this side dark okay I should go this line first because otherwise it will you do not have to make everything the same so some darker some lighter it shows the distance even do you agree let's make a, a tree bush of uh, I think that's enough do we need to add a one or two more okay let's just just finish here so now I will put the the, um, the leaves anyway it's really it's not exactly a leaf or something it's more of uh, of color dots to make it 
looks uh, looks uh, more lively. Try it. So this one you can just dot it, and if it's not color, squeeze it, and then there will be more ink coming out. But anyway, you have to 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 to, to shake it, and to be safe, you enclose it to save it to 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 to, 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 to shake it. Otherwise, um, you will end up messy like myself, and you do not want to do that. Sometimes more ink, sometimes less, so it creates a very interesting, different uh, texture. If it is all very dry or all very dark, it is not pretty. Don't you agree? Just randomly dot, dot, da, 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 da. You do not have to be cover each of the branch. Do not matter. Okay, one layer of orange. Um, this one, what do they call this color? Golden rod. Gosh, this one is golden rod. And now we will put bubber. You can show there, sir. And now we bubber. You can show there, sir. Thank you, bubber. And this one is orange. This is it is dried now. You squeeze it, comes more. You can go over it or different from it, but just a random dot. Do not put too much attention. Oftentimes, we put too much attention and too much effort. Things will turn out not as what we want. So just let natural happen. Let it uh, naturally happen to be whichever way it likes to be. Some light, some dark. So. And uh, now we have enough dots, and I want to put a little bit of more, um, a more um, contrast. So how about? Just do some dots. Some by two strokes, some one stroke. So you see, it looks more interesting. And uh, it does not ha necessarily have to be perfect. And uh, it's just about putting the design, about putting different shape, different element, different texture. Right? You do not, oh, my hand is dry so when you are in a rush you want to do something it's better to protect your paper like this okay i will start from here bubber you can show that some thank you you want to put an ear sorry and then you will put does not have to be perfect, and there's no way you make it perfect. Maybe there is a way for you to make it perfect, but no way for me to make it perfect, because I'm not perfectionist. Do not even try to make it perfect. Okay, then just Bubber, no, 
觉得他们有 machine matching， 他们听到什么 copyright music？ Never thought about using a different color. Let me see if I need orange color to do the outline. Oh, I do not have orange scene. Okay, so I stick to it. Let me see. It is also quite interesting. Nothing wrong with it. So. Add some texture and add some some eccentric, bizarre things. It's more interesting. Does not see very much, but. Really does not help very much, so just do a little bit. And also, there is a darker color. I think I do not have. And uh, okay. As you can see, and now we will work on the red one. It is quite tedious, but. Uh, not very much we can do about it. And there's not very much you can do about just keep screwing. It takes time. Sorry for it. Okay, so the trees are done. A little bit more here. Now we will do some dark even black dots. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
哎，宝贝儿，小点声，宝贝儿，宝贝儿，宝贝儿。Okay, so I think for now I will leave it like this and then when it is getting dried I will put sky so that the color does not uh, go around too much. Blue sky and the brown, brown land with some light green or dark green as, uh, as the, um, the grass. Otherwise what else I can put? Maybe yeah, it needs to be very light color to make, to, to let this color stand out. Uh, cool, cold color family. Cool, dark, cool, light, transparent color on the background. And let these, uh, these, these flower, red flowers pop up. Otherwise, it does not come out. Okay, and uh, and this one there is one problem is of this one is that uh, I put the green and gray at very first, so you cannot wash it. So it's better to put water at very first, a lot of water, and then color cha 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 go around. And here the same thing, put water on it, and then color cha cha cha. So it takes some time, I will wait, and uh, this time I want to make it, uh, at least I want to make it, uh, uh, I want to make it as good as I want to, okay? And, uh, so, see you later, alligator. And another thing I have never sol solved the problem is how to fix it when you not how to fix it, how to make it flat. When you put water, the the paper becomes shrinking. Hey, Bob, you stay here, stay here. I have one minute. And uh, the paper becomes um, uh, 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 curling up. Maybe I need to... Anyway, this is uh, no use. So I can put a piece of board and just tape it. I will see. For now, that is it. Thank you very much. See you later. Alligator. Ta -ta 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 -ta.